wedding dress designer to the stars, Haley Page. Hi, Haley. Hi, how are you? Good, how is... are you doing? Good, thanks for having me. Absolutely, thanks for being here. How did you get into designing dresses? Well, I played with a lot of Barbies as a child. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but I'm a, a kid of the 80s and 90s, so oh, I yeah. love Disney princess movies. Um, and actually, my grandmother introduced me to sewing at a pretty young age. Yes. Um, and I was always baking and decorating Aww. around the house. And um, that was really my first exposure to how fun and playful the world of design is. Um, and I kind of always saw it as like a dream-oriented thing. Like, OK, being a designer is like wanting to be Batman. Like, what are the odds that could happen? Um, so I kind of had this analytical side of me that always held me back a little bit and didn't give me the full confidence to invest in an artistic yeah. career. Um, so when I got to college, I realized that there was such an element to practicing a skill set because I was a gymnast growing up. Uh -huh. um, and just like a sport, you can kind of learn and develop your skill set over time. You don't necessarily have to be the best drawer in the world, um, but you can definitely practice and get better at it. So. Absolutely. So you have to be in on, because you, I mean, you, you set the trends. How do you do that? Because you can't have, yeah. you have to like influence, <laughs> if you look at artwork from the past, like what influences you? Yeah, well, I definitely get a lot of inspiration from different energies and vibes yeah. that, that women give off. And also men too, I'm inspired by like a lot of different types of characteristics. And um, that really is helpful in channeling and thinking about the lyrical side uh -huh. of a collection. So it's not so necessarily, I'm inspired by, you know, the architecture in something. Right. It's more yeah. like, I want this vibe, she's walking out to Stevie Nicks. You know, she's got this uh -huh. look going on. So that kind of is more of what the metamorphosis of the creative process is for yeah, me. Makes sense. You build it around the bride. Yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Now, you just became a bride a couple years ago. You are recently yeah. married. Congratulations. Thank you. What was it like picking out your own wedding dress? So I definitely felt like I was a tooth fairy and I lost a tooth in a way <laughs> <laughs> because um, it was it was wow. daunting. That is beautiful. That is Thank magnificent. You. Uh, we got married in Lake Tahoe and um, I really took uh, everything and the kitchen sink approach because uh -huh. <laughs> I just wanted to really test the boundaries and not be afraid to just express myself and try a bunch of different silhouettes. And I was lucky enough to do that because yeah. I got to design it myself. Um, and one of the cool factors was Amazing. I was really just having that inner dialogue with myself and only thinking about what I wanted because usually I think about the girl and who she is and what she's looking mm -hmm. for. But after oh, we got married, uh, we had such a great response and so many of the dresses resonated well with our girls that we put them on the collection. Wow. So now I get to go to trunk shows and I get to see a girl in the Haley gown or the Aww. page gown and it just takes me to Five this. Five dresses, right? Yeah, I wore a bunch, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I love it. Do you, ever, right, do you ever go up to the models and just go, I wore it better? Oh, no, no, I go, so that's how it's supposed to be worn. <laughs> <Probably, yeah. laughs> sure. Now you've dressed a lot of celebrities, right? So who's your favorite you. to work with? Oh, I definitely loved dressing Allie Ray's men oh, yes. uh, and Nastia Lucan. I was a gymnast competitive yes. and it, it was She's like amazing. so full circle for me because I was in that world for so long and it's very competitive, but you do have this camaraderie and definitely. when you get to see these amazing women so talented competing on an athletic level like that, it's just, it's cool to be like, here's a sparkly wedding dress for you, you know, yeah. this really feels great, so. You have a new show on TLC. Yes, I do. Tell us about it. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. So wonderful. Yeah, it's an exciting project. Um, there's a duality to it because there's a digital that's on Facebook Watch and uh -huh. they're about six to eight minute episodes and then there's the special on TLC. Um, and we've been on Say Yes to the Dress a number of times yes. before, which has been super exciting. Um, but this is a newer element for me because I was working with interns in a way that I, I had never done before. Yeah. And I got a, a chance to kind of empower them. Mm -hmm. um, and it really is a new platform to kind of speak to our audience and hopefully garner some attention for a world that obviously has a lot of heart, uh -huh. but there's also so much hustle to it. Definitely. Uh, so we wanted to kind of show both sides of the coin there. Absolutely. Well, we couldn't have Haley here without showing off her fabulous dresses. So she brought three looks to get us up to speed on wedding trends for this summer. First up, we have Rachel. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, Gorgeous. This is the Ronnie dress. We offer a lot of different colors, too, uh -huh. which is really rare for bridal. Um, I feel like a lot of the composition would be compromised if we weren't thinking about different skin tones. So that, with not, this one. Is that white? So we actually call this a cashmere shimmer. Oh. 
And um, there's an orchid, sand-washed orchid feel to it. <laughs> I have no idea what <laughs> Very complex means. terms, but um, ultimately it kind of gives you this opulence without being too heavy. You get the all-over sparkle effect, and then the dimension of that almost nudie color coming underneath helps make the ivory pop. That is pop. so beautiful, the way it falls at the bottom. Thank you, Rachel, very much. Nice. Great. Next, we have Michael. Come on out here, blush and bride. Oh, hello. Oh, I love the sleeves. Yeah. romantic. So, Frida gown, um, inspired by Frida Kala. Of course, something magical. Um, I love that this offers a sense of that boheme. Uh -huh. um, a little bit flirty, has a low back, nice and fitted. It kind of gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Um, but the sleeves are detachable. Oh, yeah, the back is beautiful. The sleeves are detachable. Yes. Oh, they are. Um, and what's great about that is I think a lot of girls have a hard time committing to a sleeve because they're ready to get jiggy with oh. it on the dance floor after, and you don't want to feel like you're really carrying around yeah. a lot. So the um, the sleeves come off, and you can have Wonderful. a little oh, interchangeability gorgeous. there. Yeah. Beautiful. Love that. Nice. Love that. Yeah. Congratulations hey. on your wedding, guys, by the way. Really. <laughs> Our last bridal look is Alana. Alana, come on out. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that. You got some wooing. That was going. a good woo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the Kellen gown, and um, I think the Haley Page aesthetic really oh, is that. not your basic ball gown, bride. So this is definitely your bona fide ball gown look, still offers a bit of sexiness. Uh -huh. So um, I love the, having that versatility. You get to have something that's sweet and feminine, but you also feel like it's alluring and has something more to offer. Yeah, I great. love it. You guys are awesome. <laughs> you guys want to all come out? Come on out. Thank you, Rachel, Michael, and Alana. Beautiful.